What's going on guys? Welcome back to part two of the DIY mini pond build. So this is the mini pond in its current state. In the last video, we put the base down, we put some insulation down, we insulated all round the tub and we clad the pond with some decking. And since the video, I've also stained the decking and I've also popped a little hole in there. That's for the pump tubing to go through. So the first thing I want to do today is to just finish off the exterior of the tub. I want to put some bamboo on the outside of it just to cover them big gaps because you can still see the insulation coming through. I'm going to be using some of this bamboo and then I'm going to sort of frame it with some wood. to do all these edge bits so i'll go and grab some of that in a bit get that stained up and hopefully we'll be able to just pop it on at the end but next up what i want to do is the bog filter i think so i think we'll get that bog filter on and get it all plumbed in i reckon okay guys so this is the bog filter i've got a video on how i made this i think it's like two videos back if you want to check that out i have made a couple of little changes well mainly i've just added this bit of piping along the bottom just to spread the flow a little more evenly throughout the bog filter so the water will go in through there down to the bottom then out through all these little holes so we'll get it put on top of the pond and get it plumbed in okay guys so the plumbing is now all done took a bit of faffing about but yeah, so we've got the pump down there in the bottom right hand corner that's then plugged in in the shed and just pops it in under the door there. The pipe work then I've tucked up at the top of the tub. It comes out through this little hole here into the bog filter and we'll obviously go down to the bottom of the bog filter, fill up through the bog filter and then empty back into the pond at the top there. So the next job we need to do is to add the gravel to the bog filter and also to the bottom of the pond. So I picked up a few bags of gravel earlier. So I'm now going to clean and rinse all that off and I'll see you once that's done. Okay guys, so the gravel is now all cleaned and it is in fact uh, a week later. Uh, it was dark by the time I finished cleaning the gravel and uh, but it's now another sunny Saturday. There's the gravel just down there. So uh, it's time to get that into the bog filter. So I'm going to start by using this pea gravel. This is what I'm going to be mainly using. And I'm going to fill it up to just below the filter and go back out into the pond. So the filter is now filled up with the pea gravel. As you can see, it comes to just below the outlet. So what I want to do around the outlet to use some slightly bigger stones and that's just going to prevent the gravel from being washed down back into the pond so we'll put them around the outlet so that's the outlets covered with these bigger rocks and that sort of just acts as like a little barrier to stop the pea gravel from getting washed down the outlet so what you can do is backfill this now a little bit with a bit more gravel so we'll do that and then that's just about done Okay, so that's the filter all filled up. Obviously, we've still got to add the plants, but first of all, I want to add some pea gravel to the bottom of the pond and get it filled up. So let's do that now. Okay, so that's all the gravel in. That's just made it look 10 times better. I think that was about the perfect amount of gravel. I mean, there's not loads, but I'm not planning on planting into it. So that'd be plenty. But what I want to do actually, before I put the water in, I want to add little air pump to the back there, an air stone, and I've got, got this thing that I want to put in there and I'm hoping I can run it off this little nano air pump. So we'll get that in there and then we can get the water in. Okay, so that's the 
air stone, which is about there, I've buried it under the gravel. Then I've got a couple of rocks just holding it down to make sure it doesn't float away. And then it just pops out the corner, comes out there, a bit of a kink in it there. Then it goes under the door and the air pump will plug in in my little shed here. So that's the air pump done. So let's get the water in. Okay guys, so we are completely filled up. I've also filled up the bog filter. So that's filled up with water. And what I want to do next is plant it all up. So these are the plants that I've got. I've got this water hawthorn. This is quite a cool plant. It's a deep water plant. And I also like it because it's one of the first um, plants to come up in spring. I've got some typha. I've got this out of my other pond. Obviously, it hasn't really started going yet. It's too early in the season, but that is a really good plant for pulling nutrients out of the water. So that'll be a good one for the bog filter. Got a water iris. I think that's a yellow one, so that'll give a little bit of colour. And we've got this reedy plant, which I know works well in gravel because I've actually got it over in this pond growing in gravel so I know it does well so that should do well and I'm also going to be taking some of this pond weed out of this pond to put in the bottom of the new pond so what we want to do now is to clean off all of the roots of the plants that are going to be going into the bog filter because we want them plants to be pulling all of their nutrients from the water column itself So here's our plants, roots all cleaned off and looking nice. Unfortunately, when I got the typha out of this container, I realized it was actually rotten. All the roots were mushy, so we won't be using that. So it'll just be these couple of plants going in the bog filter for now. But also I am actually gonna be adding a little bit of watercress because we've got loads in this filter. So we'll move a little bit of that over, put that in there. So we'll do that now. Okay, so that's the bog plants in. Hopefully I'll be able to get hold of another typha and put it in at the back there. But that's all looking quite good. What I want to do next, I think, is get the water hawthorn in and I'll probably put it in that corner there. But what I want to do first, actually, is put some dechlorinator in whilst I remember. So I'm going to quickly do that. Okay, dechlorination done. Let's get the water hawthorn in. Okay, so that's the water hawthorn in, looking quite nice. So what I would quite like to do is get a miniature water lily for in this corner. But next up, I'm going to put the pondweed in. So we'll do that now. Okay, so that's the pond weed in. So yeah, I put a little bit of filter floss around the bottom, wrapped a little bit of the metal weight, and then just put it inside that stone that's got a hole in it, just to make it look a bit nicer. So I think what I'll do now is maybe do one, possibly two more of them, and get them in there. Okay, so oxygenating plants are all in nice but what I want to do now is I'm going to nip out and I'm going to see if I can get hold of a water lily for inside that corner there and see if I can get some typha for in the back of the bog filter there so let's go and see what we can find hi guys so I'm just on my way to pick up these last couple of pond plants and I just thought I'd say if you're enjoying the video don't forget to give it a like it really means a lot and also if you're enjoying this sort of content maybe consider subscribing I've got a lot more pond related videos planned for over the summer and if you want to put a comment as well that'd be awesome let me know what you think of the build or if you've got any questions as well 
Uh, that being said, I will see you in a bit. Okay guys, so I'm back from the pond shop. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't have any typha, but they did have a red lily. So I've picked that up, obviously it's not in bloom yet. But I want to put that into this corner here, but I don't want to put it right on the bottom to begin with. So I've got this plant pot, which I've drilled a few holes in. And I'm going to put that sort of in the bottom and pop the lily on top of that. And then over the next few weeks, we'll slowly lower it down. So let's get it in. Okay guys, and that is the water lily in. So obviously over time we can slowly lower that down, but I think it's time to turn this filter on. Okay guys, here we go. Okay guys, so that is looking nice. We might make a few little adjustments to it over time. So the wind is catching these quite a bit, but there's things I can do. I can add little bits and bobs like that, sort of change it. But I'll have a little think about that. I might cut this back a little bit. But yeah, I'll leave it like this for now. And what I'll do is I'm going to check back in in the morning because we'll have some nice sun on it in the morning. So I'll see you then. Okay guys, so it is the following morning and it is officially the first day of spring today, which is nice. So let's go and check out this pond on this sunny spring morning. And that is looking lovely. Crystal clear water, water flowing well. Yeah, couldn't be happier with that. That being said, that does bring us to the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to give it a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you on the next one.